the low serve in the singles can be a good variation to the to the to the high serve, and um, it can be uh, more tricky for your opponent to put you under pressure. It can be more tricky for them to uh, to have um, good quality in the return. So it's a very very good way on uh, have the variation in the serve, but also uh, uh, you know uh, force your opponent to be creative on the other side. You can choose the backhand serve. If you do that, you will um, you will probably show your opponent that you are doing the low serve. He will, in some cases, move just a little bit more towards the net. Um, so be aware of that if you choose to do the backhand. Of course, you can do the forehand short serve as well. It's a little bit more tricky to use it. It's not used that often. Uh, maybe a little bit more at the, at lower levels uh, because the the backhand serve is a little bit more tricky to control. But you can try the forehand serve as well, and in, in, uh, in some cases, if you're very good at controlling that, well, your opponent will can um, reach the shuttles a little bit lower because he is he's waiting further back on court. So that is also a good option to do the, the forehand uh, low serve. But it's very individual what people like, and you can choose uh, whatever you like the best, or you can switch between the two serves. That's also an option. Okay, let's go uh, through the serves. Three positions in the right field and also three positions in the left field. I will uh, walk you through them uh, just briefly, um, putting my mind on what uh, what's good and what's not that good in all these uh, six places. So the first one in the T in the middle, that's um, that's a good option because the opponent doesn't have that many angles to play. There is no open and dangerous areas for you to cover. But in this case, um, there is of course a chance that you can do an error uh, serving it uh, too far to the right. So maybe in this area, um, if the yellow player is a uh, right hand, he will have uh, all the power in his backhand shirt using uh, the, the thumb grip. And in, in that case, he can put uh, pressure on, on the back of my coat down here. So I think it's a good way to serve in, in, in the middle in the tee, but we are be aware of uh, hard pushes, uh, hard drives, from your opponent's uh, backhand side uh, in here. If we go to the next one, in the middle, that's my favorite. This is my my favorite spot to do it. Because as I said, the yellow player needs to choose the forehand or the backhand shot. And that could be confusing, especially on lower levels. Um, and uh, and that is it's very tricky for him because he needs to choose between these two and he also needs to choose a return to do with either the forehand or the backhand. Um, if he chooses the backhand, it will probably come this way. Chooses uh, the forehand, it will probably come over here, or in this case, um, some people have um, have the same returns every time. Uh, and especially at lower levels, people do uh, the most uh, common thing, the most uh, likely thing just popping in their mind. Well. If I choose the forehand, I just play straight back the line that the serve came from. So uh, this is my favorite spot to do the, the low serve in the singles. The, the third position is out here, and that is in my mind the most um, dangerous place to do it. I'm right-handed down here. This player, even if he is right-handed or left-handed, he will have a very good option on putting pressure on my backhand side all the way down here. So he can do a shot coming down here. If I'm very fast, I could do it around the head. But in many cases, I would have to use my backhand. And at lower levels, usually the backhand is uh, the weakest spot. Um, so that would put the yellow player in a very good position on uh, maybe winning, uh, winning this point in, in, in that rally. So be careful about the serve out in the side. The other side, the left field. Three positions again. Uh, the first one in the T in the middle, and um, in this side, if the yellow player is right-handed, I, I like that a little bit better than the other side because that would be his forehand side in here. He doesn't have that much power in the forehand, and if uh, if he stands just a little bit this way, he will also have to reach for this shuttle, and if you reach for all the shuttles you won't have that many chances of creating something uh, very special, very unique or very dangerous. So 
If it's a forehand, I would uh, I would think that this position is also uh, a good opportunity for you to uh, to be in control in the rally, compared to the other side where it's more tricky, where more dangerous about the the backhand drives. So um, this one is also a, a good choice. Once again, like I said before, this is my favorite spot to do it, especially in this area because if he chooses the forehand, he will probably play this way in my forehand, if I'm right-handed, of course. Um, if he chooses the backhand in this case, it's very tricky for him to put pressure on this side. He will probably try to play it over here. If he does the return over here or down here, it will be closer to where I'm standing. And it will be easier for me to cover these areas because I'm closer to the shuttle and he would still have to play it over me with a lot of height, so I don't pl play the, the flat drive. And that would leave me in a very good uh, position down here in my round the head. Maybe putting pressure this way down here, or at least having the initiative in the rally. So the serve in this area over in the left field is uh, my favorite uh, by far in, in these six examples. If we go out, out in the side, that's also uh, a good option uh, in this side. Uh, of course, this area down here would be more open, but it would be my forehand side if I'm right-handed. So uh, this is a very good option as well uh, to do. So as you can see, this, the low serves in my mind is better in the left field um, if he's right-handed. If he's left-handed, um, it's more tricky compared to, uh, to this side because you would still have the areas open down here uh, on, in my backhand. So in general, to sum it up, you need to think where is your weakest spot? Where will your opponent most likely do all the returns? And, um, and where, to, where to position yourself after this serve? How to cover the court in, in the best way? An example could be that, well, I do the serve out here. I need to maybe move just a little bit to this area. If he reaches is very low, I can maybe go a little bit further back because he might do the lift. All these small things you can uh, think about when you, are, when you are training all these things. There are easy points to be won in this area if you're good at doing all these uh, uh, precise serves, but also where to be positioned on, on the third shot coming. So um, that's, uh, that was some examples about the, the short serves. I really hope that that you can see, uh, see what I mean, my point of view on this, and then try it yourself.